This is the 13th of December, 2016. We're at Vincent Corporation in Tampa, Florida. What we're looking at here is a twin screw press, motor gearbox, set up for fluid injection, steam, CIP water, uh, hot water, uh, CIP cleaning solution, twin screws. But what we're going to do is really weird over here in the test. Uh, we're trying to peel Parmesan, I think it's a cheese. You can see I, I've been eating this one, but you can see the peel we're trying to take off. Yeah, this is the good stuff, Gouda cheese. And um, if I were trying to take this peel off, I'd go to uh, a BOE, a brown oil extractor used to take the uh, uh, oil, rupture the oil cells and citrus peel. Or maybe I'd go to a, a Fusel, a Tussel, uh, potato peeler that uh, takes the uh, peel off potatoes. But anyway, we're trying to do it in a screw press. We failed a couple of things already. And we're feeding some in to this press now. Well, we've taken the screen out of the press, uh, the screen liner, and we just had the reinforcing structure. That's, uh, that's part of the 3 8 inch holes. And uh, we're conveying the, the cheese along. And there you see the cheese in and um, it's coming out but I, I can see pieces of peel yeah, yeah. down here Just along with uh, pieces of good cheese and it's going to pack up here at the end interesting to see how a screw press works so uh, that is we feed it along and it's uh, being pushed along by the flights and it's packing down here at the end Eventually, I expect this discharge cone to open. They have the air pressure set at one and a half bar at 22 psi or something. Uh, the air cylinder pushes this arm, which in turn is pushing this, these wheels against this cone. The cone is rotating because it's clamped in place by this collar right here on the shaft of the screw. And as the cone goes open, the uh, axial pins will slip in that collar, so the cone can go open and shut. It's pushed shut by this, uh, the arm actuated by the air cylinder. And we continue to, uh, now we've got a pretty sophisticated and awful expensive uh, cheese grater going here. But, um, and they quit feeding material in, it all did feed. Uh, we make these things, screw presses food grade. This one has to have a mild steel frame, and we can electro-polish these, and we can make the frame out of stainless steel, and all these parts out of stainless. But I don't think we're getting anywhere here on peeling the cheese. We're down in the assembly area right now, and I, that'll be a press someday. And here's one that's a little further along, and I can see one that's much further along there on the screen for another there. This one is uh, going to Mexico at the end of this month of December, 24 inch for citrus application. Um, this is, we build these things in production runs where we build a bunch of them and get them far enough along to uh, get started and then we get shorter delivery. Uh, here's another one. Ah, it's just on speculation for the rental fleet. And then this monster, yeah, half a million dollars of all 316 stainless steel. That frame that you're looking at, everything there is 316 stainless. There's an explosion proof press back there, panels real tight on it. Anyway, screw presses are us.